find opportunities to pursue their interests in the region and globally by funding, training, and indoctrinating militia groups that will do the dirty work for them. And that's obviously what they've been doing in Iraq. Uh, General McChrystal and General Petraeus were very articulate on this, of how the Iranian Quds forces of the, uh, uh, the IRGC were actively training, supporting, and arming groups that were killing American soldiers in Iraq. They also, which is very odd as well, got involved in supporting the Taliban. At the same time, Ahmadinejad was meeting with Karzai. His thugs were training Taliban that were trying to uh, kill Karzai. So they, they, they play this double game even when leaders of the region know it, and particularly their neighbors in Iraq and Afghanistan. They know they're playing a double game, but they still do it in order to leverage pressure, intimidate, and terrorize the leadership around uh, their region. Let me talk a little bit about the MEK. That's really why I'm here. I'm one of those evil State Department guys who uh, was at blame for, for much. I mean, I mean, I'm not an apologist for the State Department. Of my 30 years in government, I was there for about three of the years. But I did serve on the National Security Council under, under two administrations, in, in Bush 41 and Clinton. And I also served uh, in, in the Pentagon in different, different places um, before I finished at NYPD a few years back. We designate state sponsors to terrorists. Of course, Iran is number one and Syria is number two on that list. Really the two only countries that are actively involved in supporting terrorism right now. Even the North Koreans, as wacky as they are, the Sudanese, have really, they've really diminished their support for terrorism. Those are the two uh, that are most active. Um, that process is fundamentally a political process. The courts have intervened. Secretary Clinton has said we will review. It's taking a long time. I would hope that the facts uh, will, will prevail, allow this process to move forward. It's a legal process. It's an analytical process. And I hope uh, that they move forward on this, on this issue expeditiously. So thank you very much uh, and, uh, for inviting me here today and sharing a few thoughts about this whole process. I'm very honored to be here today. I'm honored to be on a panel with this group of very important officials. I'm also humbled. I'm humbled by all of you, by the courage of the people in Ashraf, by the horror that we watched on the film earlier today. I'm a professor. I've worked at times in government. My last stretch in the government, I was the counselor of the Department of State. That's kind of an advice, a deputy without formal portfolio for Secretary Rice. I spent a lot of time in Iraq in 2005 and 2006. 